live from Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering ServiceNow Knowledge 2018. Brought to you by ServiceNow. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of ServiceNow Knowledge 18. We're coming at you from the Venetian in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. I have with me Paul Webb. He is the ServiceNow practice lead for EY. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, Paul. Oh, thanks for having me, Rebecca. So before the cameras were rolling, we were talking about how e what EY's focus is, and it's not traditional IT. You're really focused on bringing ServiceNow into the business. Can you talk a little yeah, bit about this? Yeah, that's right. So, you know, traditionally, ServiceNow has been seen inside the IT organization transforming the way in which the service desk is run. But what we're finding is more and more of our customers see the power of the platform and how it can be taken out into HR, customer service, uh, and automate a lot of business process that have traditionally been manual or used by a bunch of disparate systems. So that's been our focus and it's been very compelling to our customers and it's been very uh, very good to us. So give me some examples of how of, of what you're doing. What are some, some innovative solutions? Yeah, so we've got a couple of really cool ones. One is fleet car management. So we've taken uh, a device that we've put in vehicles that then transmits back to service, uh, ServiceNow Hub. Um, to give us the vehicle telemetry. So then when the vehicle comes back in from being used, like someone like Hertz or um, Avis, anyone like that, they can then use a device to see whether the car needs a repair, a service, new tires, and then automatically trigger a work order to get that taken care of. So that's a you know a really different use case than the traditional IT. Right, right, and so, and so how are, I mean, are our clients, are they ready for this? Are they? Are they? Have they? I mean, if you feel at this conference that there's been this sort of pent up uh, exhaustion with the with the with the workplace and the way it's been structured because our consumer lives are so easy and intuitive. We're seeing this need for disruption sort of kicking in this year. It's like last year it was a lot of ideas, a lot of thought around what the art of the possible, but now we're starting to see companies ready to embrace it, and so that that change, that transformation is happening sort of right now in 2018. And how are you helping them? Because it's not easy. This is, this is a, the stuff is hard, change management. Yeah, it's, it's kind of great that we're such a diverse and, and uh, broad company. So the fact that I can bring our customer service teams, our supply chain teams, our, uh, our human resources teams, all of that consulting breadth that we have and deep subject matter experience. We can bring that to the ServiceNow platform and then take it to a client to really transform the way in which they think about a problem. And what would you say are some of the best practices that have emerged? Because as you said, this is a really disruptive time for so many companies. You just talked about car industry. Um, what, would you, what would you say Sort of, sort of the insights you've gleaned in working with clients? It's time to value. I think more than anything else, it's getting something in the hands of the customer or the user very, very quickly. So our typical cycle is 12 weeks from an ideation, an idea of what they want to achieve, to something they can actually touch and feel and experience. 12 weeks? 12 weeks, yeah. And we typically work in these 12 weeks delivery cycles so that you don't end up with fatigue and design fatigue. You just get your hands on something you can touch, you can feel, you can experience, and then you can mature it from there. So what, get, walk us through the process. I mean, at 12 weeks, that, that is stupendous. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, first of all, it's containing the scope. It's not trying to do too much all at once. Um, we then really help the clients sort of whiteboard what problem they want to solve. We may do something as, as simple as a proof of concept, or a, we call them hackathons, it's, it's common here. Um, do that to sort of get the ideas into an environment that they can touch. Then we come up with a series of requirements that need to be in the first release. And then once we've done that, it's you know, send it to our developers, get them to you know, turn the crank, turn it into something that we can get you know, in the hands, even if it's not in production, if it's not production ready, it's got to be close enough where they can say, yeah, we need X changed, we need Y changed, we need something different, or this is good to go, let's, let's now evolve. When you're when you're in this de design process, which is messy and complicated, how do how are you sort of sparking good ideas and creativity and innovation on your team? Um, we find the client brings that themselves. Um, you know, we we got small people; they do good things. They're they're young, they're innovative, but I, we find when we start to produce some ideas to the conversation, it rapidly sparks the same back from the client. So this sort of um, collaborative approach works really well to bring everybody up to a whole new level of thinking. 
So we're, the tagline, for the, the new branding for ServiceNow is making the world of work work better for people. And that is where you're focusing EY's business too. So what would you say should be sort of next? What are the next employee pain points that you want to focus on with the ServiceNow platform? Um, it's interesting that it's a little less exciting, but it's this concept of the system of protection. One of the guys that works with me, Lawrence, came up with the, the concept of using ServiceNow as the system of protection, where we can look at things like um, compliance and security and risk and use ServiceNow to help manage that, facilitate that risk. The second side is obviously the sort of more creative, improve productivity, improve efficiency, drive um, you know, more of the sort of disrupt disruptive digital uh, agenda into the equation. And so those two uh, ends of the spectrum, you know, protect the business and then innovate the business are two prime agenda items right now. Finally, why would a client choose EY? What's, what, what do you bring to the table? Uh, I, I think it's the breadth and depth. You know, we are a very large global company. We have a lot of really bright minds. Um, I think 70% of our business is now millennials. So we've got a lot of brilliant minds that are really trying to bring new ideas, new, new disruptive thinking, and yet we still have that maturity and that experience across that spectrum. So bringing all that to bear on a problem for a client enables us to you know, do some really unique things. Great, well thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, Paul. Thanks very much for having me, Rebecca. We will have more from ServiceNow Knowledge 18 and theCUBE's live coverage just after this.